Now, look at the parasitic nutrition in cascuta. So, dodder is a plant, a parasitic plant, which belongs uh, to the genus cascuta. The genus cascuta. So, there are around 170 species, species are found in this genus cascuta. So, dodder is an example of a parasitic plant. So, we are going to see what kind of nutrition is observed in this dodder plant. Dodder is a leafless plant. So, we are telling it is a parasitic. Why it is parasitic? Because it cannot it pre prepare its own food as there are no leaves. So, it is a parasitic. Dodder is a parasitic twining. It twines around the host plants or trees. So, it is a string like or a thread like thin plant which will twine around the host plants to get its nutrients, food, shelter, everything from the host plant as it cannot prepare its own food. So, this parasitic twining leafless, leafless plant. Now, let us see its uh, life cycle and how its uh, mode of nutrition is found in this uh, dodder plant. So, these dodder plants, they are found in the temperate and tropical regions of the world. So, these dodder plants, these parasitic plants, they move from one place to another place along with their host plant. So, they on their, themselves, they do not have any mechanisms for their dispersal or the, for their propagation. So, they are carried by their host plants to different parts of the world. So, if you observe the dodder plant structure, they do not have a chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is absent. So, due to the absence of the chlorophyll and there are no leaves also. The leaves are reduced to spine, scales. Leaves are reduced to scales. And they are very thin. They are string like plants which are coiled around the host. And their color may vary from white, pink, orange, sometimes brown. So, that is the color of the daughter plant and they bear flowers which are uh, having a united corolla. That means their petals are fused together. They have small lobed flowers in small groups, lobed small flowers, ball like flowers which are having united corolla. United corolla in the sense the petals are fused together. So, white color small flowers are found. So, they can produce seeds and the seeds even they can germinate in the soil. Now, how do these daughter plants get their nutrients? These daughter plants, they produce, they form a spine like structure, a short spine like structure called as hostoria. Very important part regarding this daughter plant's life cycle and its mode of nutrition. Hostoria is a major part which helps the daughter plant to absorb the nutrients from the host plant. So, with this spike like structure, it will poke into the shoot of the host plant. This will, it will penetrate into the host plant and absorb the nutrients. So, how the nutrients are absorbed? We know that the plants, they have vesicular systems in which water and food is uh, transported. So, this Hostoria, it absorbs water from xylem tissue and food from phloem tissue. So, water from xylem, food from phloem. Sometimes this hostoria may kill the host plant also. The hostoria is, to, uh, this dodder plant is getting its shelter and food, that is the nutrients and water, everything from the host plant. Now, let us look at the life cycle of a dodder plant, how it propagates. So, when the seeds of the daughter plant germinated in the soil, it will be having a temporary root. So, the root will be a temporary root. Temporary root. So, from the temporary root, a thin slender wire like string like plant grows up and soon it grows to certain height. It catches the shoot of another tree or a plant. So, it twines around the host plant. Once it twines around the host plant, 
It produces a sharp hook-like structure called as hastoria. So, with the help of the hostoria, it absorbs the food and water from the host plant. Then this stem which is arising and the temporary root will disintegrate and disappear. Disappear. So now the doder plant is totally free from the soil. It is bound to the host and it grows. It twines around and it spreads to the other branches. Sometimes it spreads to the other trees. And in an area, it covers totally a group of trees and it is a very uh, big problem to the trees.